So the first job is to go and get LPG. Now I know there's always a, always a debate and talk on LPG of if it's sort of phasing out, which it probably is because it's a fossil fuel. Well love, how much was that? So you believe we can turn around at the top? Well no, I don't think, looking at that road, I'm not too sure. Look how busy it is, probably with dog walkers and day walkers. But this is meant to be a night stop. We've got a couple of jobs to do anyway. Yeah, so we get them jobs done. Good morning, we're back at the storage yard. We're not taking you out anywhere this weekend um, overnight because we're going away next weekend. We've got some jobs to do on the van, so we thought you'd, we'd take you with us today. Um, Lee's around somewhere. What are you up to, Lee? <laughs> oh, bless him, he's bringing the towels oh. in. Yes, so I've got a bit of a bad back, actually. Yeah, you... So I'm doing all the work. We've got this new um, New Year's resolution to keep fit and uh, Lee's ever done it a bit on the cross trainer, haven't you, love? I have, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, but I had a good week of it, so I've done five <laughs> days in a row on the cross trainer for an hour, so like I'm I chuffed said, with myself. Like I said, an hour, five days a week, that's ever doing it. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, it's hard to get him to have a rest day when he starts, he gets obsessed with it. Um, <laughs> but he's just going to take it easy, aren't you, darling? Yeah, so, well, I've got to get this uh, the summer figure back for when we're on our travels. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I have so, to hit. Lee's just brought in the towels, we take them back and wash them and bring them back every week. Um, and Lee comes, I work through the week, so Lee comes up and does a bit of maintenance one day in the week, don't you? On the, on yeah, the yeah, so I always um, I do the hoovering and stuff like that, although today, Judy, um, Judy, <laughs> I Jody. don't know what who Judy is. <laughs> <laughs> Judy and me doing you the, the, you the Have you got another girlfriend called Judy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um but yeah i come up and just make sure the van's all, all working right and good and um you know checking it out because once it's in a storage yard you know you have problems you can have problems with mice and stuff like that so just to make sure them little critters ain't uh creeping in the van which they ain't i can hear um, the things still going off at the moment no, lee can't hear them but so, I, can't. I mean these have worked wonders for us yeah um they're just deterrents really set off uh, an ultrasonic sound um yeah uh, it keeps them away, it has so far, or it's luck. It's just the noise gets me a little bit. Yeah, we've got all the cupboards open, just keeping it aired while it's um, the colder weather. Yeah. So you told them what we're doing today? Um, not completely. Mm. Well, I not think... completely. I've just said we've come up to just do a few little bits here in, on the van because um, we keep it in storage mm. and that costs us about £65 a yeah. month. But it's like double gated CCTV. Um, it's well yeah, worth. it's proper secure. So, yeah, it's well worth know. it. We haven't got a. We've got a drive, but it's not. We wouldn't leave it on our drive and and go off and leave no. it there. We'd and just, that's not yeah. just because of the area. It's just the way the drive is and shared with yeah. the neighbour and stuff. You can't really put other uh, deterrents, you know, like the barriers in front of the motorhome or anything like that. So yeah, um, we would rather put it in a secure storage unit. You can yeah. put a car in front of it, but then if I'm at work and you're out, then there's no cars no, that's right. around it. So, yeah. And yeah. this is probably the silly season that everyone wants to, you know, uh, acquire a remote home, which then obviously ups the thefts yeah. as well. Supply and demand. Supply and demand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what we call it. <clears throat> so. Yeah, so we're going to, we're off on a little journey to go get some. Yeah, we need to get L fuel. Fuel, LPG and LPG. some other bits. Yeah. We'll take you with us and then we're going to find... I found um, a stopover in the area, overnight stopover, yeah. with um, something uh, good to see in the area as well. So we're going to go and just park up there and show you around. All cupboards shut, locks are coming off, we're good to go. So the first job is to go and get LPG. Now I know there's always a, always a debate and talk on LPG of if it's sort of phasing out, which it probably is because it's a fossil fuel. <clears throat> but you know, people having trouble to actually find places. Um, lucky 
for us we've never seemed to have that issue but we have got a local garage near us that does uh, LPG and it's got really good fuel prices as well so that's where we'll be going today to fill up filling up ourselves but I just wanted to point it out as well a lot of motorhome rental companies out there so we've got a company called Abacus near us just in Andover and that company has a tank full of LPG so if you've got motorhome rental companies around you obviously they need to fill up their tanks if you pop into one of them and just ask them they'll actually take your van and fill it up for you uh, out of their LPG. Now you might find the uh, the price per litre is a little bit more expensive I think I paid last time I done that it was about £1.5p a litre so it ain't too bad just that little bit more expensive Right, that big tank over there that's our gas what have we got we've got 99.9 .9 pence a litre so let's go and fill up right so the good thing about the auto gas or um, the safe fill bottles and all that sort of stuff but I like this one because we've got the attachment on the outside of the door if anyone's not filled up gas before it's literally take your gun you've got these little nozzles in there and they fit on the bayonet they're like a bayonet fit so you just line it up twist it on so it's locked in pull the trigger and then just lock it on once it's locked on just come round and push your button and it keeps filling until it can't fill no more. It should reset, which it has. And there we go. So that's now filling up. Now I didn't fill it to the brim last time. And we've used it a couple of times since then on heating and that, so I'm not sure how much it's gonna take. Um, we'll see. I've actually got a 17 kilo worth of bottles, so 11 kilo and a 6 kilo bottle. Um, yes, and I know they fill up to 80% of capacity. You have to keep your finger on the button. Keep your finger on the button, it'll stop itself. There we go. Just over 10 litres. Job's a good one. So get it off then. Literally, you just pull the trigger. Some people wear gloves, not really needed. Slide it off. Gas is done. Now it's fuel time. Reasonable prices here, actually. 143.9 so that's not bad even though it's still going to be uh, quite expensive I think because it needs filling right up but it should last us for the next couple of trips well love how much was that what both together was 110 I think the LPG was I can't see 10 pounds something I think 76 right lovely 100 pound fuel nice so okay so it's never a cheap business is it but yeah so that's the um that's the fuel done and the lpg done just got to work so, out how we're getting out of here now because yes that's all right however the owner of this because uh, it is a family run uh, petrol station have told me they can we can use the uh, pump over there in future if we want to oh, to make it HGV easier one. yeah because yeah, he don't have hgvs on here because it ruins his forecourt he said and for the extra point penny you get it's not worth it so that's actually for bigger vehicles like us so we use that well, was that the time. owner that was talking to yeah you so that's the owner oh, very good and it keeps the lpg going so that's that's uh, awesome right. right let's get out of here <laughs> next location just coming up to the stopover not sure if we can get in the other one's not free it's this car park here it's free it looks rather busy it looks quite busy doesn't it yeah there's another car park you can turn around in at the top if you need to. Is there? Yeah. Okay, okay, all right. 
We're not getting in this one, are we? It's fairly busy. So you believe we can turn around at the top? Well, no, I don't think, looking at that road, I'm not too sure. Yeah, but then again, there's a van there. So I might be able to squeeze it in between that car and van. Don't know. No, I don't think you Definitely. will, Dan. You're going to have trouble turning around, I think. I can turn around. Let's see. Well, this is a stopover, just here. Yeah, but look how busy it is. Probably with dog walkers and day walkers. This is meant to be a night stop. And it probably does empty out um, in the evening. However, we're not going to get parked here today, um, which is a shame because we wanted to go for a walk up there. Um, We'll just come back another time and do we'll it. Come back another time. But, but for now, um, we're going to have to leave this one here. But the fort is just behind the wagon. That hill. I'll just show you. So we didn't fancy going up that hill there, but there's another car park at the top as well. But this is the free um, one we can stop over. And then if you see, there's people walking up there. And then the fort's up there. Never mind, we'll just have to come back. <laughs> but yeah, it would have been nice to take you up there, but things don't always work out as planned and it's part of having a bigger vehicle and not being able to get it squeezed in. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, one good thing about this spot though, if there was no cars here, it's quite flat. Um, so you can uh, park here, you know, quite reasonably. It is a big space, but just too many cars today. Yep. Yeah. So, what are we going to do now? I don't know. What should we do? I think we just head back and do a few jobs. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to head back to uh, the storage now and we'll just... We've got a couple of jobs to do anyway. Yeah, so we'll get them jobs done. Because we're heading off next week to uh, another place. You'll find out where we're going next week yeah. on another adventure and we're getting the van ready to go. Yeah, so um, from next week, it's pretty much we are fully booked now um, through the year. So we're going to be bouncing from one thing to another um, and then it ain't going to be long and April will soon be here as well and that's a big six weeks or five, I'm six so weeks. so much looking forward to going yeah. to Portugal. <laughs> so today is all about getting this van ready. Just to say as well, this is on search for sites, uh, this stopover and it's just not far from Stockbridge. I'll put up the search for sites now and it's had some good reviews as well. So it just when it's quieter, I guess if you come back later on, in the evening when um, all the dog walkers and that have gone, then you should be able to get space. You're right with that with your back. Well, yeah, but I tell you what, power banks are a godsend. You know, down the yard, we've got no electric at all. So this, it does the Hoover, it does my jet wash if I need to put the power jet wash on. Um, so it brings electric to your motorhome and we all know that, but yeah, they are a godsend. And we're gonna do a bit of hoovering and stuff like that now. What else do we use it for? Well, power the van. So, yes, another thing is people have asked the question is can these power the van? So all I do is I have this in the boot and I run my um, EHU cable out of the boot, plug it into the side of the van, and then I've got the adapter to basically plug it into the three pin plug, turn it on, run it off of this. So if you're just using it to keep the van charged, um, that's great. If you're using it for power, then obviously the time that these last is going to deplete with whatever you're using. So if you're going to start plugging in air fryers, microwaves, stuff like that. Um, however, just to keep your battery topped up over winter, if we're not using the van, every couple of weeks I'll bring this down and leave the van on charge for a day. Uh, it boosts the batteries right up and protects them over the winter period because once that temperature starts dropping below zero, the batteries then can, um, you know, the health of the batteries start depleting as well. So it's a good way to keep your batteries healthy. And we're after another one, aren't we? We are after another one. So if we're going away for four days or something, two of these, this is a 2000 watt, um, looking at a 3000 watt or 3500 3, watt hour. Um, and that'll keep the batteries topped up nicely over a four day festival or something like that. So if there's no electric there, we'll create our own. Um, obviously you can plug in your solar panels and stuff um, to this. So yeah, let's get it in. I'm just going to give it a quick hoover when Lee's plugged it in. That's ideal, isn't it? Power on.
That's good to go. Let me just check it's on. Ooh, nice one. Right, I better get oovering, eh? <laughs> we have power. <laughs> Lee's doing the polishing. Yeah, because of me bad back. <laughs> so you can get on with the hoovering, go on. <laughs> Leave me alone to polish. <laughs> with his, uh, with his can of polish and his uh, microfiber cloth. I better get on with the hoovering then, aren't I? I need place, I need home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in need, so where I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so. I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day, cause I found my way. Why well, you going all out there, love, aren't you? Things you do to keep the van looking good. <laughs> So I'm just going around doing a bit of hoovering as you've seen and I just wanted to remind you of these um, washing bags that I bought. Now these are great um, and they've done us brilliant for the whole time we're in Europe and when, every time we go away just these washing bags um, and we just shove it in there and they just clip on the sticking, sticky hooks each side there. I mean you can put them on the back of your door in the bathroom or into your shower or whatever. They've got a little pockets, don't really use them. Just shove everything in there. And he's got one on his side as well. And then I just take them off into the house or wherever I'm going to wash to do the laundry. So they're pretty cool. So that's us all done with that then. <laughs> yeah, because we don't live in our van like some of the YouTubers that share their van life experiences. Yeah. Um, we have to come up every so often and give it a clean through so it's ready to go again. It is. Um, so we, do, we don't do it on a daily basis because we're living in it. So it just needs a quick clean every now and again and then it's ready to go, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting excited now because the travels pretty much are starting from next week. Yeah. Um, like we said before, it's going to be go, go, go. Yeah. Uh, and lots definitely. of adventures to had in 2024. So. Oh, when we're talking about LPG, there is an app as well, isn't there? Yeah, so it's uh, EU dot com something like that yeah so, um, but, but we haven't really had to there. use it yet have we because i'm not in a position where we've needed it on our no, travels no, because we've got that just local check uh what app it is <clears throat> ah my lpg dot eu so if you go on there you can put in your area and it gives you all the uh the local places around you for lpg um, how accurate it is, I don't know because I don't use it that much. Um, we've been lucky enough to find LPG every time we need it. So, Yeah, it's a shame we couldn't get you to the uh, fort today. We did want to park up and wanted to walk up there. Yeah. Shame we couldn't. So pick it, pick any timings for that is definitely advised. Yeah. Either really early morning or sort of late afternoon, really, because yeah, it looks it seems like that it's, way. it's a dog walker, so it will be quite busy. But there's good yeah. reviews on Search for Sites, like I've said anyway. So we've never stopped there, not yet, but we might do in future. Yeah. So the van's all clean. Look at that. Ready to go. It's not perfect, but we don't need perfect because it's only going to get dirty again anyway. No, that's so, right. <laughs> just uh, keep it keep it looking clean and I just wanted to say hi to Colin um, hi Colin my stepdad who has now started his own YouTube channel me and my van yeah. <laughs> with his VW Transporter yeah he's doing really well with it so if you want to head over there his YouTube channel is me and my van spelled M-I-V-A-N yeah so if you're a, um, a V-dubber <laughs> as they say that's the that's oh, the God. place to go <laughs> yeah just pop over there and uh Say hello to him, give him a comment uh, and a like or whatever you want to do. Yeah. yeah. So that's us now. We'll catch you next week when we head off somewhere new. We're going to surprise you. We will surprise you. We've got it planned, but we'll surprise you next Maybe week. Maybe a little so. bit of off-gridding. Maybe. <laughs> so... <laughs> right. 
Thank you again to everyone that subscribed to the channel, all the new subscribers, we really do appreciate it. Keep the comments coming in and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Till then, bye. See ya.